सो टू चेक स्टूडेंट पोर्टल प्रोसेस फर्स्ट यूजर विल रजिस्टर स्टूडेंट सो टू रजिस्टर स्टूडेंट एडमिन विल लॉग इन विथ इज क्रेडेंशियल्स सो विल गो ऑन रजिस्टर स्टूडेंट्स मेन्यू सो यह एडमिन विल एंटर द रिक्वायर्ड डेटा Once all the required data is entered, and once click on register button, student register successfully message will display. So once so once student is registered, now this student can be seen in view student application list with admission status applied. For this, we will go on view student application list. We will search the student. so here register student can be seen with admission status applied now to check student portal process student have to log in with his credentials after resetting password so once student log in with his credential this dashboard screen will be visible to them so to enter personal information student have to go on personal details menu so in this screen student can fill their personal information some details can be can be seen already filled which admin would have entered while registering student now student will enter the required information so once personal information is filled student can save the information now once the uh, data is saved we will go on next page so in this screen if student have given some entrance exam can enter the marks details over here
so after entering test scores we will go on next page so in this screen you don't have to enter the previous education detail If student has some additional education details for suppose have, have done some certification or can enter that detail here. Once education details is entered, we will click on save button. Once data is saved, we will proceed to next page. So in work experience page, if student have some past work experience, they can enter those details here. Click on save button to save the to save. Click on save button to save it. Once save, click on next button to proceed further. So in this, so in this screen, we have to upload documents. So under education document, we have to upload document for which we have entered the data. So to upload document, click on choose file. Select the required documents. Similarly, we will upload other documents also. So in passport size photograph, we will upload our photographs. Once we have choose our file, we will click on upload button to upload the documents. So your document is uploaded successfully. We have to re-upload some document. We can delete that document and upload it. We can view, we can also view the uploaded documents. So once upload document is done, we will click on print application form to see that to see our application form so in this print application form whatever it is we have entered will be seen here
Now, after this, if student have to pay online fee, he will go on academic fee menu. So in this academic fee payment details, student can pay their college fee online. If student have to pay online, they will simply enter the amount against the fee head. We'll select online mode. We'll click on click here for total amount and we'll save and submit. So after submitting, pay now button will be get enabled. So to pay, click on pay now button. Should we enter the card detail? So once payment is successful, this screen will be this screen will be seen where student can click on print receipt button to view the to view receipt. So yeah, free receipt will be get generated. So after after paying the fee, once we go on academic fee page. Then ten uh, then ten thousand amount will seen under already paid and amount balance amount will get reduced. Same payment will get updated under payment history tab. And student can student can also view their fee receipt from payment history menu. So in this screen, student can view all their fee receipt. If student have some if student have specialization subject, they have to submit their specialization subject. So for this, they will go on specialization menu. So in this screen, only those specialization and subject can be seen, which are which are set by admin team. So student will select the specialization and will select the subject. Student will save and submit it. So after submitting it, after submitting it, college team will verify if quorum is not met for any subject. They will reject that specialization. Then student have to again select the specialization subject. After specialization is done, and once division equation is done for this student. Student can view their own time. Student can view the timetable in timetable menu. If student want to opt for hostel facility or transfer facility, for this student have to go on opt for facilities menu. So if student have to opt for transport facility, he will select yes. He will select the drop down. And we click on pick up location. If student also opt for hostel facility. He can select yes. He will select the uh, room type. He will select the room type from the drop down. Will enter the local guardian's detail. So after opting, so after opting transport and hostel facility, and once the local guardian detail is entered, once click on save button. So after saving it, 
after saving it fee structure for transport and hostel will be visible to the student in academic fee if students who have opted hostel and want to apply for leave for this student have to go on leave application menu so in this screen student can apply leave for day leave short leave and long leave so if for if student applying for long leave they have to submit the departure date and arrival date and and what meal they will not consume for that day once all the required information is filled and submitted this leave application will go to warden once warden uh, accept the leave application then student can go for leave then go for leave also if a student any guest or family member is coming to stay then he have to apply for a guest house application for this he will go on guest house application menu so here he will select the details for which he is going to apply for a guest house enter the details of the guest house here by entering names by entering name check in date check out date check out time and room type we have to upload photo for guest here once we fill the detail and submit it then we have to pay the fee for the guest house